What's up, guys? Time for another daily dose of classic. Uh, today, we're actually going to be talking about a little bit of Twitch stuff. Um, this is uh, it's it's going to be related to the game a little bit and uh, kind of like discoverability and and kind of like the the uh, like long uh, like kind of like the long term success of of classic WoW. Um, just kind of some thoughts that have been on my mind. Um, uh, again, this is being recorded live on my stream. I do this at the start of every stream. Uh, I'm supposed to start at 3 p.m. every day, but, uh, some days I'm a little bit late, which was, uh, 3 p.m. Central time. That is, which, uh, that was certainly the case today. <clears throat> but anyway, so, uh, something I want to talk about is yesterday, uh, yesterday at the time of this recording, um, the, if you looked at Twitch and you go to the browse section, you look at Twitch, you go to the browse section. The WoW section logo was changed to the classic WoW logo. Open image and new tab. Yeah, this is the classic WoW cover art. Uh, it's, it's like the new Ragnaros, whatever. Um, so basically Twitch is kind of like prepared uh, for kind of classic to be like the, the new big thing. Right. Um, I, I know I've personally like kind of had, like I, I've gotten a chance to talk to some people from Twitch. Uh, the success of cl the classic beta on Twitch was, it, it, it was definitely something to take note of. Right. Um, and, and a lot of people think a lot of people at Twitch think that you're going to see the same thing whenever it actually launches. Cause one, the beta was just the beta, right? Like it was cool because we hadn't seen it like legally in such a long time, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, it wasn't the real thing. And there was a lot of things that it, it's just going to be very different, right? It's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot more people playing. It's going to be very, very exciting. Um, <clears throat> I think, and, and this is kind of the, the topic that came up yesterday uh, for, for a lot of people. A lot of people were bringing this up. Should the WoW section be the WoW section? Should it be World of Warcraft? Or should there be World of Warcraft Classic and World of Warcraft retail bfa whatever make them separate because the examples that are cited right is look at runescape you have the runescape section and you have the osrs you have the uh, old school runescape well, uh, what's old school runescape section right so you have two sections right runescape is at 2k viewers old school uh, old school is at 7k viewers, right? So, so there's a total of nine between the two. Um, but what Twitch and, uh, Jagex decided to do is, or Jagex or Jagex, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce it, <clears throat> but, um, basically what they decided to do is that, Hey, we're going to split up the sections for whatever reasons, right? They, they, they kind of have their own reasons for that. I'm sure maybe it's cause they're two completely different games, whatever. Uh, and that's what a lot of people are bringing up for classic. Uh, I think and I feel pretty strongly about this. I think that they should not split up the sections. Uh, I, I think that it's really important to have two sections, or to have one section, even though you have like essentially two different games, um, they're still under like one name, right? They're still under one name. It's, it's still World of Warcraft. That's what it is. Uh, and Blizzard is very clearly, Blizzard is very clearly trying to, um, I think they're trying to make sure that it's still under one umbrella, right? They're, they're running one MMO. You have a shared sub for both games. You don't have to buy an expansion or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why that I think they shouldn't split it here in a second. Uh, one of the big reasons why, and, and I, it's, it's interesting for me to see this because I see a lot of streamers, oh, they should split it, they should split it. Twitch has recently brought out a, a tag system. Okay, Twitch has recently brought out a tag system. And you can use that to, like, let's look at the Hearthstone section. Is it Hearthstone? Uh, yeah, so like Class Warrior, right? Uh, class Rogue. You're able to tag your stream based on whatever section that it's in um, with like classic or retail or something, if you wanted to do that, right? That's one thing, right? And you can even filter, right? You can filter Warrior, Class Warrior. Lupus Day right? is cheered. X500, ahem. If I might interrupt, the RuneScape dev is pronounced Jiggly Sex Gaming. Thank you. Carry on. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Lupus Deus. Appreciate that. Thanks for the 500 bits, dude. So now you determinate your decision based on Twitch? Wait, what? What are you talking about? That, like, we're literally talking about Twitch. Like, that's that's what we're talking about. What is the... What? What are you talking about, Lenny? 
So here's the thing. Yeah, like that's like we're literally talking. <laughs> question mark. Okay. So uh, what I'm saying is, whenever you go and and this is like a concept of like directory and section strength, and a lot of people like uh, you have some streamers who are saying like, oh, like you should split it up or whatever. Uh, but I think what's best for Twitch and what's best for the stream, and what's best for WoW, uh, is actually that you have these two sections combined, right? Uh, directory is a really like I think directory plays a um, strong role in the discoverability of streams, right? Let's say. Let's say you have this stream. Let's say you have the WoW section right here, right? You have the WoW section at 25K views uh, with whoever is streaming in it, whatever. And it right now is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th ranked stream on Twitch. Does that count that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is, the, it is the 14th ranked section on Twitch, right? Over Apex, over PUBG, over Madden, which just came out. Um, all this stuff, right? So it's the 14th rank section. If you were to take this and you were to take classic streamers and retail streamers and you were to split them up into two different sections, right? You would, what would end up happening is you would have one section, one directory that ends up getting dropped down into this range, right? And there's different like viewership thresholds. Is it confirmed classic will have its own section? So you're going to have this feature filtering for class? No, no, that's not what I was talking about, Balor. I'm talking about... Um, I'm talking about filters between classic and retail, right? That's what I was talking about. The, the, the filter that I showed was Hearthstone specifically. But this is, filters are new on Twitch, right? Uh, and, and honestly, if it were me, I, I would say that they should have OSRS and, and RuneScape um, in the same section as well, right? Because look at, like, we, we looked at, seven. this was 7K earlier, and RuneScape was at 2K earlier, right? So what would happen if you're in this case, and, and we're talking about discoverability of streamers, right? Twitch wants to, what, what Twitch should want to do is they should want to have um, different streamers, maybe smaller streamers. It's not just all about the big guys, okay, um, to have an opportunity to get seen. So RuneScape is at 2.3 and old school RuneScape is at 6.7, right? So so they're effectively at 7 point, or sorry, uh, effectively it's at uh, 9.1K right now. Uh, what ends up happening, if you were to combine OSRS and, and RuneScape sections, it would knock it up over here. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2, right? And Super Mario Maker 2, like, just came out, what, like, uh, a month ago or something like that? Is that choice up to Blizzard or Twitch? Uh, I think it's, I think it's up to Blizzard, I would think, and, uh, I, they would work with Twitch on that, right? <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure that it's up to Blizzard. So, what ends up happening here is all these RuneScape streamers who are down here, their section, their section is, is, like, just absolutely buried behind all kinds of stuff, right? Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne is over RuneScape. Dark Souls 3, Starcraft 2, Final Fantasy 7, which I might play before Classic comes out, is um, is is over is over that section, right? Um, So yeah, Ocarina of Time. Like, it, there, there's so many things over the RuneScape section right now. And what happens is people who are trying to stream RuneScape are ended up kind of getting screwed, Right? Yeah, when you lose to Warcraft 3 and 5, I mean, yeah, these are literally games that came out like 15 years ago, right? Over 15 years ago. Oh, wait. Anyway, uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, as I was saying, if you look at, you know, the top RuneScape streamer right now, uh, he's at 1,500 views. He would actually be at the top of the section in old school, right? He'd actually be at the top of the section in old school, but just because he's playing normal RuneScape, he, he's kind of getting screwed, right? Uh, because there just happens to be more people streaming RuneScape, and then it ends up getting pushed to the top. If you look at the power of directory, right? Look at GTARP. GTARP got launched so so like far, like so heavily into the limelight that this has regularly been one of the top streams, uh, one of the top sections on Twitch ever since it blew up again before TwitchCon, right? It it, it made Vader's career, for example, uh, and a bunch of other guys, Buddha, so on. Buddha is another uh, classic guy, actually. He's he's a big classic WoW guy, but he's uh. He mains GTRP. Uh, I don't know why they do that. It's way literally three head and your idea is five head. Yeah, I mean, well, they, they are a three head company, right? So <laughs> that's just how it goes. So yeah, I, I think uh, I think if you were to see this happen with WoW, you would see a lot of people, right? Whether they're retail streamers or classic streamers or whatever, basically get screwed, get dumped on in their section based on 
like what big streamer is live, right? Having a big streamer live in your section, in your directory, will boost the entirety of the directory. So, like, let's say if, if Asmongold or Soda Poppin or whoever is, is online in the WoW section with 20k views, this thing all of a sudden goes from 24.6 to 44.6, and it, puts, it, it knocks it up over here behind TFT. You see what I'm saying? So having a streamer like that is going to boost the entire section. Now, on the flip side of things, right? Let's say Asmin or Soda are streaming retail one day or, or whoever is streaming retail one day. Then it's going to take the retail section and knock it up into there. And then the classic section is going to be down in the dumps. Right? And then it's going to hurt the discoverability of, like, all the classic streamers, right? If they're playing classic, it's going to hurt the discoverability of all the retail streamers. I think directory, like, like your, your spot within the directory is really, really important, right? There's a lot of things that go into, like, view count and, and, and factors of, of uh, discoverability and stuff on Twitch, right? There's a lot of different factors that go into it. Um, for example, I started my stream about three and a half hours late today, right? So, so the, the regular audience of people that would watch my stream, they're, they're not going to be here, right? That's, that's just normal. That's how it goes. Um, so yeah, just imagine if 20k new viewers tune into Classic WoW and launch, but the directories are split. WoW and Classic WoW are both going to be a bit varied versus combined, they'll be top six. Yeah, and, and I think that's, uh, that's kind of the case, right? I, I think whether you're a bigger streamer or a smaller streamer, uh, that's gonna, it, it's just better for you overall. So <clears throat> being the top of the directory is also very important, but sometimes if there's a streamer that's so big in your section, especially if you have a section that's intriguing, for example... Um, or it's actually a good thing for the smaller streamer. And for example, uh, like I was streaming Outlast a few days ago. You guys remember whenever I was streaming Outlast? Um, whenever I was doing the DLC and I was finishing it, there was, I, I, like, I actually, I was surprised. I went up a ton of follows, right? I went up a ton of follows and uh, my viewership was way higher, whatever. I was like, oh, there's a new viewership coming in, right? <clears throat> A lot of the reason for that was because Pokimane was also streaming Outlast that day too. So because she happened to be streaming it that day as well, it boosted us like we, we were at like, I, I don't know, probably like 13 or 14 or some, some way higher number than if I had been in the section alone, right? So we went essentially, we went to here whenever we would have been, the section would have been down here if it was just me. You see what I'm saying? How can Pokemon stream? Okay, relax. Unbelievable. Um, so yeah, when this comes to discoverability, this, like Twitch sections, it's not about like, oh, well, they're two different games and this and that. It's, it's about discover, uh, discoverability and uh, being good and healthy for the section of the game as far as streaming in the section, the, the, the section go. <clears throat> um, yeah. So... Uh, da, 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 da. uh also another thing to talk about is from from blizzard's standpoint from blizzard's standpoint like they're they're saying it's a shared sub it's this and that there's going to be a lot of people that play both retail and classic right as far as the streamers go and you're going to see a lot more um a lot more volatility between the two sections if you end up separating the two sections right because of big streamers or whatever uh massively shifting the viewership like for me i'm 99 percent of the time i'm gonna play or sorry classic wow right uh, i don't play retail wow very much that's that's just the nature of of what i do and, and who i am um if retail i mean here's the thing that's not to say that i won't ever play retail wow but retail wow in its current state is not particularly appealing to me right um so yeah it just kind of goes against the idea of the shared sub Blizzard very clearly, they very clearly want people who are playing classic to play retail. They want people who are playing retail to play classic. Um, and you can tell that by simply how accessible they've made the game, right? They, they've, they've made it to where you don't have to, to play classic, right? It's very accessible. You don't have to buy BFA. You don't have to, uh, there's, there's, there, you don't have to buy a box for classic. You literally just, you have an account, you pay your 15 bucks a month, and then you're good. So the best case scenario, right, I think the best case scenario, because you, you want to be, this, this is supposed to be good for, you know, the streamers, particularly smaller streamers, right? Like, I think, I think for smaller streamers, especially if you are 
if you're a smaller streamer in a section that's like, if you're low in a section on a section that's low on the website, that's really, really bad. If you're a little bit lower on the section in a section that's higher on the website, that makes your discoverability more because your section is getting clicked on better, right? Twitch, Twitch needs, and they have been, to be honest. Uh, Twitch has done a good job of getting better and better at like supporting small streamers and stuff like that. And I think this is one of those things that would be good for them. At the end of the day, this is Blizzard's decision. Uh, but I think that it's good for Blizzard too if you have all your views in one section and uh, be able to push it like that. What's up, General Mittens? How's it going, man? Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, like what Lupus Dea said, this is this is really it. For streamers, keep them together. Consumers, split them so I know who's playing retail and who's playing classic. And I think this kind of goes back to what I what I was saying originally, Lupus, is that's where the new filter system comes in on Twitch. This is relatively new, right? Like, there needs to be, like, a classic filter. Classical music, nice. Uh, there needs to be, like, a classic filter. Uh, let me see how I can do this. So, what they would do is, on my stream, let me show you this. So, if I go here, um, if I go here, there's category, World of Warcraft, audience, everyone, whatever. Uh, tags, search tags. They have all kinds of tags that people don't really use, right? PvE, PvP, multiplayer, EU server leveling, end game, casual playthrough. So I think what needs to happen is, and a lot of people don't use these because these are like new, right? But they need to add a classic and a live, cla either classic and live or classic and uh, retail section, right? And what would happen, live would probably make more sense than retail, right? Just for like technically... Right. Technically, it's all retail, but um, you would have two different tags that you can add. And what that would do is for you, Lupus, what that would do is you go up here and then you type in your filter. And then if you don't want to see a retail stream or whatever, then you could just click on you could just click on that and then it'll tag it out. Both are live. Well, I mean, like live, like modern, like that's you would use live and modern interchangeably, right? <clears throat> so yeah but literally everyone calls it retail yeah i know i know but like that's the i mean it doesn't matter what they call it okay uh, what i'm saying is that there needs to be something to call it right uh there needs to be something to call it uh to separate it from classic and retail and i think that would be the best of both worlds for both twitch for both twitch and blizzard actually because it makes wow look better right if there's more people in the section um and also it's best for the viewers because you can go within a section and filter by subcategories. This is what uh, this is what a lot of people were hoping that they would have done with the IRL section a long time ago. And uh, I just hope that I, I think from a streaming perspective, this this does make a lot of sense because uh, like if you're a streamer, like you understand like the power of directory and, and this and that, like from a marketing perspective and, and all that. Uh, a lot of people say like, oh, well, how come like. Blizzard doesn't seem to be pushing classic that much. They don't seem to be advertising very much. I think Twitch, while not the end all be all, uh, I do think Twitch does kind of like uh, your game is exposed to a certain part of the market, right? It's exposed to a certain audience whenever it's being streamed heavily. So I think just wow looking good, um, whether it's retail or classic or whatever, and there being one wow section. I, I personally think that that's that's really important. I think it's the most important thing. So how, how do you how do you guys feel about this? <clears throat> they have roll tank DVS healer filters. Yeah, I mean if, if they wanted to do that, right? Um, but what I'm saying is you got to start somewhere, you know. So, yeah, I think and and, and for me like. <clears throat> Just like, like I said, kind of looking at it for smaller streamers, big streamers, all this kind of stuff. Um, that is something that is. I, I think it's better for everybody. I, I think it's across the board better for everybody. Now, here's the thing. This I think ultimately I, I believe this is Blizzard's decision. I think this is ultimately Blizzard's decision. And something to keep in mind is, is Josh Allen is a streamer. Lore is a streamer, and I wonder, uh, and, and and I would think that, again, like there's there's some some streamers who who don't see it this way, but I think most of the bigger streamers that I've talked to do see it this way, um, or at least not not even just bigger streamers, people who've been streaming for for a long time, maybe, uh, 
see it this way as well. Kind of, kind of share my opinion on this. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what they're going to actually do. So yeah, yeah, little mega lore. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, <clears throat> which is why I personally think from a user experience uh, point of view, it's more important that there's a distinction between retail and classic, even though I completely take S-Man's point. Yeah, no, I, and that's the thing. Like, you're looking at it from a user experience standpoint, I totally agree. That's why I think these filters are important. Like, they have to add a classic and retail filter. Because um, some people are just not going to watch classic. They're going to, some people are just not going to like classic. They're just, whatever. Some people are just not going to like retail. Some people are going to like both and they're never going to use the filters and they're just going to look at whoever's in the section, right? But I think, I think WoW being up higher in the section is uh it's better for everybody better for all the streamers i, I think people who want their because here's the thing you don't want to play a game that like people oh dead game dead game lol you know what i mean i i, I think i i'm already sick and tired of hearing it like and and you don't like it's like oh classic is gonna die in a month this and that and it's like dude come on like uh, obviously there's going to be that big hype drop off and, and we've talked about this before right there's, there's very clearly going to be the big hype drop off but to say that the game is gonna die and I, I hear this from like other streamers and stuff, right? They say that the game is going to die is, is kind of absurd, right? There's going to be a big, massive percentage drop off in viewership. There's going to be some people that, that hang around this and that. And there's going to be people that quit the game too. Um, however, there's going to be a lot of people that play classic and love it. Either they've been waiting to play it again for years. They're wanting to play it for the first time because they've heard so many great things about it for years and years and years. Uh, our main tank in Raid 3 was a Wrath baby. He like he was a rat, like he had never played classic before, and he was not very good whenever he started playing, and he progressed and ended up getting like significantly better week for week by week. Because he was a, he like he was a decent WoW player, right? So like he just all he had to do was learn. He just had to learn more and more and more. And um eventually he ended up having to quit the game and stuff, and uh because he, he had a bunch of real life stuff going on. But um, but yeah, that was just the case. So retail is still alive. Yeah, I mean, like, you're, like here's the thing: a lot of people are like, oh, like, wow, is dead. BFA is dead, right? But I mean, it, it's still it's doing just fine, right? It's doing just fine on Twitch too. That's that's something else to, to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> what's real life stuff? Yeah, I know, right? Every game that doesn't get 300 viewers is dead. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a hug. Uh, slash hug. Slash hug. Thanks, sugar cookies. Um. Will your guild be a mega guild with hundreds of members or just having one raid with 50 or so members? So I think what I want to do with my classic raid is re realistically, I think we're going to have one main raid and then maybe one like social weekend run or something like that. Uh, I will usually probably run with a main group, but occasionally uh, I, I do want to run with a second group as well because I, I just think it would be fun to play with more people. Um, uh, I just think it would be fun to play with more people, and I think if there's people in the guild that would like to play with me and stuff as well, uh, we might we might swap people between the two runs. Like if we're trying to get a certain guy in the second run a piece of gear that nobody needs in the first run, or or vice versa, right? We might try and do some some weird stuff like that. So um, am I going to down Van Cleef on the stress test next week? I don't know. Uh, so so the stress test is going to be next week, August eighth, right? Stress test is going to be next week, August eighth, and. Uh, I think, uh, Thursday actually, uh, I, I think I want to try and just level. And and I, I think that is the best kind of practice run of what launch is going to be like. Go level, see what happens, see how far I can get in, in whatever period of time um, with whoever my leveling partner is going to be. I got to get that nailed down because I think what's, if I'm going to level in dungeons, uh, if I'm going to level in dungeons, then I think you're going to have to quest up to about 15 or 16 He's not killable at 15. No, no, I, I think I, I think somebody killed him, actually. I'm pretty sure somebody killed him at level 15 uh, on the last stress test. That's what I've heard. So, yeah, basically, uh, I, I want to go, and I think I'm going to have to be probably level 16 or something before we can start farming dungeons. I think my streams, if, if we're leveling in dungeons, we're just going to spam dungeons over and over and over again, probably, and then move on to the next dungeon and do that. Uh I think what's going to happen with my streams is essentially going to be a it, it's kind of it's going to kind of be like a radio show. Right. Um, at least for the leveling process. So if, if we decide to do dungeon leveling because you're not questing out in the world and this and that because uh, we're trying to rush to 60 and we're trying to do it in a timely manner. But also um, just just kind of keeping a whole group together in this and that. Yeah, yeah, PogChamp radio show. Yeah, pretty much, right? Because because I'll be in there, I'll be in voice with a bunch of different people, and it, it'll be fun, it'll be a good time. Now, here's the thing, and here's my personal opinion on this, okay? And I feel very strongly about this. You don't have to rush to 60, 
Okay. I, I, like, stop. I, I see this this crap about like, I, and it's it's nonstop. YouTube video. Oh, you have to play the game this way. Yeah. Oh, you just you don't you can't play that class. You can't get in a raid if you do this. You have to rush to sixty. Chill the frick out. Like, you don't have to play the game that way. This is the beautiful thing about Vanilla WoW, is if you want to play the game hardcore, beat your head against the wall nonstop, you can do that. If you want to play the game more casually, and you want to level a little bit every day, you want to explore the world, you want to do all the quests, this and that, that is just fine too. And that is why this game is so good. It's because you can get a level of reward. You can get a rewarding feeling out of playing the game either way, right? And and these people, these these people that go and and they say this and that and like, it, it's just it's just absolutely absurd. Like uh, when when they're trying to like basically force you to think a certain way or play the game a certain way. Like that's not fair, right? I, I think it's. Uh, it's not true to the integrity of the game, for one. And also, it's just, it's just flat out disingenuous, right? Like, I think whenever you say you have to play this way or you have to play that way, it, it gets more, uh, it picks up more traction, right? Because it's a more bold statement. But, and, and, and nowadays, people think if you're making a more bold statement, that's more real. But the reality of it is, is that a lot of times it's not, right? Like, you're, it's, it's like a fake bold statement for the sake of, oh, man, this guy said this, that guy said that. So... Like, sure, there's going to be a situation where if you're playing this class or that class or, or this, like, race class combination or whatever, then uh, then you're going to have maybe a, a little bit more difficulty, maybe. But it's not like you can't get in, right? There's going to be a lot of people that don't care. And I've already talked about the potential of the raids being a lot easier come classic than they were in, in retail vanilla and they even that they would be on private server, right? Uh, I think it might just not matter. Okay, like I like I, for example, I play a rep paladin, right? I know dang well. Okay, I know well enough that a rep paladin does not compare to like a fury warrior, or rogue, or this or that, right? Like a, like a pure DPS class. I, I meme it up, right? And I joke around all this stuff about how like oh like oh rep number one, and I and I do my whole thing in the green screen and this and that. that. That's fun, right? That's that's the memes. That's that's just that's just part of it, right? But the reality of it is is like. I, I like to have fun whenever I'm playing the game, and the 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 play style of playing a rep paladin is very very rewar rewarding, right? The play style of playing a rep paladin is very very rewarding to me, right? And if you play really really hard, if you give this level of effort, you might get this level of output, but that level of output is still fun. It's rewarding, right? You get to do the raids and and this and that. So, I I I think I think is that it's. It, I think that it's just not going to matter as much as people make it out to be. And that these people are just being like, just elitist. Like, I, I don't know what, it blows my mind. Like, I mean, I, I've done all the content on the private server as a rep paladin. Now, here's the thing. You have to find a group of people that are wanting to play the game the same way that you want to play it. But if you find that, then you can play the game the way that you want to play it. That's, that's, that's what WoW is all about. Right? WoW is all about taking all the gear in the raid from the Fury Warriors because it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the reality of it is, right? The reality of it is it's like you can, you can play the game. If you want to play a Boomkin or whatever, find a guild that will take a Boomkin. That's fine. You want to play a Rep Paladin, do that. I, I've said before, I don't particularly recommend people to play Rep Paladins because I, I think that Rep... It, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time to, to play it at a decent level, right? But if you're willing to put in the time and effort and find a group of people that are, are willing to play the game the same way that you want to play it, then feel free. That is, that is what WoW is all about. That is the, exactly, that's the hardest part, Lupus. The hardest part is finding a group of people that share the same vision that you do. And once you can do that with the social dynamics and wow and this and that, you are going to be just fine. There will be zero rep pallies in my horde guild. Well, that's an outrage. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let me catch up on notifications. Uh, Chemist, thank you for the Twitch Prime two months. Scrum Fender score just resubbed for two months. 
I've never played WoW before. Should I give Classic a shot? Absolutely, Scrimps. Absolutely. Thank you for the two months. Jevlet, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Scubs. Scubs 15 just your sub for three months. Thank you for the three months. Amused. Ranger Allender just resubbed for 10 months. Hey Addis Fan TV, I'm sure this has been asked, but you think you're gonna play a lot of WC3 Reforged? Also, chat, don't forget to smile. It's good for you. Smile. Smile. Asuri, thank you for the host. Puneo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. There we go. We're all caught up. Very good. Okay, um, I've never played WoW before, but should I give Classic a shot? That's what you were asking, Scrimps. So, so here's the thing. McPat, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Here's the thing. Classic WoW is very, very friendly to new users. It's very, very new player friendly, and it's because of how open-ended it is. Uh, I think that whenever you log into Retail WoW... Um, it can be kind of daunting, right? There's a lot of things that it's like, oh, go here, go here. And it's, it's almost like you're on a conveyor belt. And it's like, go here, go here, go here, go here. And that's fine, right? But I think that retail wow, and, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong for feeling this way. Uh, and, and maybe you guys can, I mean, agree or disagree with me. But in retail wow, I kind of I, I kind of feel like it's almost information overload. Like there's like too much stuff. And because there's too much stuff, it's da, 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 like it, it's it's just everything is everywhere, right? Whereas classic WoW, it just feels very straightforward. I'm a new player. I'm new to MMOs. There's a reason why. There's a reason why classic WoW ended up doing so well in the MMORPG market. There were MMOs before WoW, but none of them blew up and and were a cultural phenomenon like WoW was, right? I think sometimes less instruction and just let the kids play is a better way of approaching a game. And, and it's, it's almost easier to understand because players will go try and figure it out. Is WoW Classic free to play? No, Marshall, it's not free to play, but um, it's, it's going to be a shared subscription with retail. So yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty good deal. Um, same thing happened to me. I'm a vanilla player and I quit after Wrath. Would you say your next word is? When I log back into BFA, there's just way too much stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, big Mac attack. My friends and I are starting a classic guild, and we're committed to being the casual raider. We're not requiring specific class race combos, nor are we denying rep pallies. Uh, WoW should be about having fun first, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, dude. Um, I mean, it just depends. Like, that's fun for you, right? And this is something I do want to touch on. I, I don't want there to be this whole notion coming from, from what I'm saying. I, I don't want it to be misinterpreted as... Speed runs are stupid. Playing hardcore is stupid. Playing hardcore is not fun. Because here's the thing. What's fun for you might not be fun for somebody else. And what's fun for somebody else might not be fun for you, right? So, for example, Big Mac, you, like, you want to play a little bit more casually, right? For you, playing more casually and having more people in and this and that, that's more fun for you, right? For somebody who's a hardcore raider, that might be boring like that might not be fun for them what's fun for them is competing and pushing for like trying to kill mc as fast as possible trying to run through the entire raid as fast as possible it's just different for everybody you know hi chat hi asman what's up adwin asman sir if i understand correctly uh i have to subscribe to your channel to play classic wow no that's not <laughs> that is not how it works false uh yeah false false um so kind of back to what i was saying about wow being successful uh, whenever it first came out, okay, whenever WoW first came out, and, and part of the reason why it was so successful is because of the same reason that a lot of people thought that WoW was not going to be good. People called WoW the Care Bear game. That is, that is literally the, the, the term that was regularly thrown around. WoW is a Care Bear game. That is just it. I remember everybody saying that. Now, I don't think a game being particularly hard or particularly easy makes it better or worse, right? It's about uh, the systems in the game and how everything interacts with one another, the, the player psychology and so many different things, so many different factors that go into it, right? Everybody says, oh, well, the grind and, and the difficulty of retail WoW was so much more, or sorry, of classic WoW was so much more than retail, right? That's why it was good. Uh, yes and no, right? Yes and no. There were some parts of it that were better, right, because of the grind and this and that. 
Um, and, and to me, I think Vanilla WoW overall was a better game than than what Retail WoW is right now. But in a lot of ways, Retail WoW is is um, Retail WoW is actually better for different things. But for me, as a player and how I like to play the game, what I like to do in in an MMO, Classic is better. Wow, Vanilla WoW came out and it was like easier than EverQuest, easier than Dark Age of Camelot. Oh, this game is not hardcore at all. This game is a joke. This and that. WoW takes off. WoW explodes, blows EverQuest out of the water, blows Guild Wars out of the water, blows Dark Age of Camelot out of the water. Nobody comes close, right? So I don't think it's just about a game being difficult. I think it has to do with systems and how players react to it and, and what all it means, right? Want to die loads while leveling? Do it solo as a rogue, yeah? Well, here's the thing, dude. In Dark Age of Camelot, whenever you died, you lost XP. I think that was a regular thing, right? Like That was like a, a pretty normal thing to come to expect in, in, in video games, in MMORPGs. And whenever WoW came out and said you don't lose XP when you die, everyone's like, what a joke. What a, oh, this game is for babies. Oh, this is so dumb. Like, why would you do that? And, and now, if you lose XP or anything, whenever you die, it's like, Whoa, what? This game is a nightmare. That's so incredibly hardcore. It's just kind of funny to think about, right? It's kind of funny to think about how things change. Let me, let me take a look at notifications here real quick. Yo, what up? Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, um, notifications are going off. Go. Kane, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Odip Jake, thank you for the Prime three months. Red Mills, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Puppy Fist, thank you for the tier two two months. Puppy Fist became the tier two S fan. Thanks for reviewing my guild app and sending me an invite. That's not true. I'm not done with that yet. Congulator just for 13 Gelator, months. Gelator, what's up, dude? My sub is a teenager now. Sounds like a nightmare. Thank you, King Gildor. Thanks for the 13 months. Die and reload. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Dr. Psycho, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you guys so much, man. Dude, Asmund, what's up, dude? Yeah, not much. Just chilling. I uh, got a little bit of time, so I figured I'd hop in and just chill for a bit. Yeah, what are dude. you doing? Uh, I'm doing my daily dose of classic. So we're just kind of talking about classic stuff before I go. I I'm actually going to play retail today. Believe it or oh, not. Oh, yeah? Uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm probably going to jump around Boralus for about you 30 farm minutes. You're going to mounts or collect pets or complain the game's boring? I think I'm going to I'm gonna jump around Boralus and complain the game is boring. Okay. So, yeah, uh, dude. Don't uh, worry. I do that every day. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty it's good. It's easy. The best thing is you get like you watch a video of somebody else complaining the game's boring while you complain it is, and that way you don't even have to do anything. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Like, you actually don't have to do shit. <laughs> it's great. I, I did that for like, what, four months? It was crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you only yeah. have to do it for three more weeks. It'll be great. Just three more weeks yeah, and you're good. I'll be, I'll be completely fucking good by then. Yeah. But yeah, dude, uh, what's, what's happened in Classic so far? So you got the stress test that's on the 8th, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got stress test on the 8th. No, and then um, after that, it's, it's name registration on the 13th. Well, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, 12th for us. So we got to yeah. gotta talk about that and kind of get that figured out. Like, I, I know for mm -hmm. me, because I want to have my guild figured out. Like, I have a lot of stuff to yeah. do this weekend. But... Uh, even for the stress test, we, we got to talk about that because I kind of want this stress test. I want to play the stress test kind of like, okay, this is how it's going to go on launch. So I don't know yeah, if, if you're going to level. Probably, I, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'd kind of like to just play for a while and just kind of get into it. I think, like, I mean, I, I think that we've all done. There's not really a whole lot of like viewer activities for me to do. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, we go kill on like some like mob or something like that, but. Yeah, well, I, I think you know, I think I, playing I the game more than that. I think playing the game is going to be almost almost too important. You know what I yeah. mean? Because because it, it just to get like a real like, okay, this is the experience that we're going to get on launch. This is how it's going to be. Uh, there's going to be this many people playing, trying to get tags, and I, I think what probably makes the most sense if we end up doing dungeon leveling together or something like that. Um, yeah. Maybe you and McConnell will go and level as a duo. And then I will get a warrior to level with as a duo. And um, I don't know if Sequisha is still interested in playing in, in my guild. But if he is, I would duo with Sequisha if, if, yeah, he, if he wants be, to do that. Yeah, that would be big. 
Yeah. And then what we could do is we have two paladins, two warriors, and then we'd have to have a healer. So I think what we would do is we would get like a priest, maybe like a dwarf priest with a dwarf hunter, and they level together, right? Maybe. I think honestly, like there's going to be enough people leveling to where like if we're just leveling together and like not like me, you, McConnell and like one other person, mm -hmm. we're going to have somebody else that just kind of shows up that's like just questing solo, like maybe a hunter or a warlock that's pretty close to our level that even like, let's say, well, let's say we end up doing dead mines at uh, 2022 20, or something like that, which is like not not ideal, but. I mean, it's still probably a good use of time, especially yeah. in terms of like engaging the audience, et cetera. There's going to be somebody at that point who's level 18, right? right? I mean, obviously, like even if we are the fastest people in the world, there's right. still going to be somebody who's at that point. So right. I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. Right. But what I'm concerned about is having people on the same schedule to try and rush to 60, right? If, oh, if it's, that's not what gonna, it's, do. it's not really going to matter because like everybody's going to be playing 16 hours a day. I mean, there's going to be, I mean, you think about that, right? I mean, there's going to be like a 12 hour overlap, no matter how you, how you cut it. Right. But I, I, I think that if you have a leveling group, I think the leveling group should yeah. stick together as much as possible. Oh yeah. No, like McConnell and I will probably start and, and basically at the same time, that seems like kind of the smartest thing to do. And then like, we can always converge to do group quests that, you know, the two of us maybe can't do, or the two of you guys maybe can't do. And you know, we just kind of knock something out like that. I mean, that's kind of the way that I've been looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think we, we definitely got to like sit down and like plan it out off. Uh... I, I don't I'm not really that worried about it. I mean, like the truth is that we're going to get up to 60 really fast. I mean, the only reason we didn't get to 40 or 30 really fast is we took a lot of breaks. Like, you well, know, we did, and this we, is going to be the we played a lot the, the first release. day. Yeah, we played a lot well, the first yeah. day. And then after that, we kind of. We, we kind of well, even then, like, stuff. well, we focused on doing, like, we didn't really have a very strong leveling path or whatever. But I think that, like, the, the biggest weakness that, like, I know we had was just a lack of preparation. And uh, whenever we were basically on the same page as everybody else in terms of, like, what quests we had to do and everything, uh, we were out leveling everyone. Like, there yeah. was basically nobody who was ahead of us. So well, I mean, I'm they really also not worried about it at all. Well, they also played more. Like, we, like, we played a lot the first day and the second day we didn't play as much. And yeah. like we spent a lot of yeah, time. Well, they like sit up the whole night. Yeah. So, so I, I don't really worry about it, honestly. I think that like I think people are over over preparing personally. I mean, I think it's it's gonna be fine. Yeah. I, uh, I we think... just go in there, we get it done. I mean, this is like it's like preparing for like a new expansion for me. Cause like every new expansion, like we obviously go for realm first on the uh you know, on the server and everything. And like we try to get like we like my goal is always to be like the first streamer who's like non like who's not like trying to like trying to get level levels whatever like world first right like you know like genji and them go for like world first like we're not mm -hmm. going for world first but we're just going to do it basically as fast as we can and yeah. i just plan on beating all the other people who take it on that level and, yeah. and we have every single time yeah but i think like this is for for at least for me from my perspective um like, I, I haven't played on an expansion launch the way that you have, right? I, I haven't streamed an expansion launch the way you have, right? Yeah. Um, so so for me, I I want to rush to 60 for the sake of, like, just trying to get ahead of the pack and, and doing all this stuff. I don't think I'm going to get to 60, like, super, super fast. I could be wrong. Like, I'm, I'm expecting it to take around, like, eight real-life days, right, within, like, a day I'm, of that. But All I, I want to do is kill Ragnaros on the second week. I don't really care what else has to happen. Like if I get to 60 on day six uh, or, or day nine, it makes no difference to me. Uh, as long as mm -hmm. I'm getting Ragnaros down on week two. Uh, I, I think that'll be a real big challenge because, you know, I haven't really prepared my guild in the same way that you have. Yeah. And for me, like I, I will for me and for my guild, I, I like, yeah, I think we're not planning on. I, at least as of right now, I'm not planning on, on wanting to have an official guild run until week three. Really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, what makes you want to make it take so long? I, I'm just I'm just not planning on it. Like okay. I mean, if if it if it happens that we're like, hey, we're ready to go week two, like you have a week to level and then a week to kind of get get your gear and stuff, and then then the the third week do all that. Now it could be wrong and we we're just like way ahead and we're like, okay, well, let's just go. But I uh, 
I don't, I just don't foresee that happening. Right. Like I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Right. Cause my guilds are going to be like particularly hardcore. Uh, but well, it's going to, it's going to be like, a side, that, like, there's only going to be like so many people that are there on week two. So like, let's say we do this on Monday of week two. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to invite anybody that I can. Like, I mean, if they're 60 and they know what they're doing, we're going to take a 40 man in the molten core. Like, will we kill Ragnaros? Probably. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, we're going to go in there with how whatever 40 people we have. Yeah, and, like, that's and what for we've me, done before on like expansion launches. Whenever we weren't able to fill a raid for like the new raid or anything, we just bring in some random pug that, and usually they're going to be really good because they played the game nonstop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's the thing. I, I just I just don't know how how to approach it exactly. I just don't want to. I don't want to set the bar at this level. And then happen to like not reach it, and it's like okay, now what, right? I just I just want to oh. go and and push it as hard as I can, and then whatever happens, it's like okay, well we can we can, okay we can push the bar up if we need to, or I guess I guess you know we can go ahead of schedule. That's the way that I'm looking yeah. at it. Because I, I mean, like that that's also I mean it kind of goes without saying, you know, is that you know if if we don't make that timer and and it takes us until week three or even week four to kill Rag, then it is what it is, right? I mean, who cares? Mm -hmm. I mean, like. I I just I want to get it done as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and I think that's the thing. So so here's what we were talking about today earlier, and this is kind of off topic, right? Of of what uh, I was talking about earlier today. The the main thing yeah. I wanted to talk about was basically like the Twitch directory, right? Looking at looking at the Warcraft Twitch directory, mm -hmm. and the fly in my room. What the heck? Um, okay, so. Oh, what's up, Zach? How's it going, dude? What's up, Mickle Reavy? Um, yeah, what up, dude? I'm going to so, get bus later on. Okay, nice. Um, so, what I think, and, and a lot of people compare WoW Classic and Retail to like OSRS and RuneScape. And I was kind of talking about how I think they should only have one section because I think having all of your views under one section is a lot more it's better for the game overall right at least as, as far as twitch directories go because it pushes the directory up mm -hmm. higher and also if you have one really big stream for example if if you're streaming retail one day then it, it'll tank the other section right or if you're streaming classic one day it'll tank retail right so just just by comparison because if you're like let's say you're streaming every day and well, there's, there's also what, always going to be like this thing where like imagine if classic wow three months in you know, a new raid comes out in retail and, you know, everybody's playing that. And, you know, this is like the world first race. I'm streaming retail. Mm -hmm. Everybody's streaming it. And Classic has like 4,000 viewers or something or, you know, 6,000 uh, yeah, viewers. Yeah, who, who knows, right? On, on a directory, right? Just like a random number. But it has mm -hmm. substantially less. Like, that's going to immediately be like everybody's going, oh, I fucking knew it. This game is dead. J. Allen Black was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do. And you fucking don't, bitch. And yeah. it's just like, come on, man. Like, and so I think that really the whole thing is that it's success for classic is success for like both of these games are called World of Warcraft. Yeah, like this That's is That's what it is. It's wow. And and here's the thing: Blizzard is obviously trying to push this thing as like it's one MMO. Now, obviously, we know that it's two different games, right? We obviously yeah. know that it's two different games, but. They're trying to say, okay, it's a shared sub. It's this. They obviously want people who play classic to play retail. They obviously want people who play retail to play classic. They they want there to be crossover. Well, it's best for everybody if people play both, right, or at exactly. least try both, because it's a value add to the service that they're paying for. Exactly. So of course they want to encourage. Like, I mean, if you just take it on like just such an abstract level of like, you know, like content offerings from a subscription. Mm -hmm. If you were, you know, adding another service to that subscription, like let's say Netflix adds a video game service, they will probably say, hey, please try out our video game service too, because they want people to stay invested and stay subscribing to their product. Like, I mean, this is just like, this is so common sense. I don't even know what to say. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, obviously this is going to happen. Like, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the numbers are even going to be, because I can see definitely like, you know, it's going to ebb and flow where like if a new thing comes out for classic, for example, uh, we're going to have, you know, everybody wanting to play classic. And then uh, after that's over, then everybody's going to want to play BFA or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that it's just going to be one of those instances. Yeah, I think that um, 
Uh, I think that even for like whenever you're looking at big streams versus smaller streams, I think that it's going to help even smaller streamers by being in like if you're at, let's say you're at whatever, whatever random number, like just 500 views. Like that's just the number we yeah. use, right? Let's say you're at 500 views in a section that's way like I have to scroll six times to get to the bottom of Twitch to get to versus being at 500 views in a section that's it's literally right there on the front page. You're going to have well, naturally more discoverability. Exactly. Um, Anybody who wants the section separated doesn't really understand the way that, uh, you know, the discoverability occurs on Twitch. I, I, I understand that like a lot of people might not really like retail, right? They're not a fan of the game or, mm -hmm. or, you know, or classic vice versa, right? They don't want classic players to be involved in retail because they just feel like, uh, you know, classic players are toxic or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you know, that that's fine, but, it's not really about it, it. It's like, it's not about you. It, it's about the game as a whole. I think there's a lot of really like selfish people out there that they almost like want the other game to fail. Dude, it, it's you so know, dumb. It, well, it's, it's, I, I think it's fail. a very vocal, it's a very vocal minority. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a very vocal minority and it's retail people and it's classic people. And it's, it's really, really cancerous. It's, it's not good. It just like, it's, it's not good for anybody, right? Because what happens is it, like, it just increases animosity yeah. between the people who like this and the people who like that. That well, is just, that is it, all it really, does. I, I just don't really understand it because like, to me, it, it seems like, I, I don't know, it's like kind of like, imagine you're part of like a school or something like that. And like, you know, you're cheering for the school's basketball team and somebody else is cheering for the school's like football team. And you're happy when one of the other ones loses. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's just dumb. Such a, a weird <laughs> perspective to have. I, I think that it's going to be great uh, for for both of them. Yeah, I think that. Uh, well, you, you also kind of have this thing, right? And and obviously, I I'm I'm not the biggest fan of retail WoW, right? In general. Yeah. But I've never wanted WoW to die. I've never, I've never wanted retail to crash and burn and be terrible, right? Like sometimes I'll meme, and this is this is a whole another problem, right? Like when it comes to like memeing and speaking in hyperbole and people not understanding whenever you're joking or or anything like that, versus like what you actually mean by it, right? Yeah, that's that's another huge that's a huge problem. It's not as bad on Twitch, I think, as it is on YouTube. For some reason, I, I don't I don't know why, but um. Either, either way, it's, uh, it is one of those things where it's like, okay, I want Retail WoW to be good. The reason why I, I'm critical of it or the reason why like, I complain about this or complain about that isn't because I hate the game. It's because I love WoW. WoW is a huge part of who I am. WoW is a huge part of the, the person that I've become growing up. Like I, I relate to WoW on a very personal level, right? Like I, I joke about Paladin in game, Paladin in real life. But like that that's like what it is, right? That's that's just how I am. Um and to see other people kind of try and like and, and again, it's a very vocal minority, try and tear down the other game, retail people tear down classic, classic people try and tear down retail. It's it's not it's not good, it's not healthy. I I don't think that it makes the game better. Mm -hmm. I, I think that they're they're very naive for doing that because uh when they end up doing that, they're going to just alienate more and more people and it just creates this weird as i said this like weird uh, i don't know like, i don't even know what it is like i, I don't know like it, they're like one that's it, it it puts people against each other that shouldn't be against each other basically right. i mean uh you know there's no no reason to like create a, a metaphor i mean it's very simple what's going on mm-hmm I just hope that Blizzard doesn't like. I don't think they're going to cave to that kind of stuff anyway. It's just not even going to happen. So, I, it would be stupid for them to make it two sections because it would hurt the section that's not on top. And then there's also like, I mean, why did they stop showing sub numbers? Like, let's be honest, guys. I mean, they stopped showing sub numbers because as soon as they had announced like a one million subscriber mm -hmm. loss. There were a lot of people that saw that and then they unsubscribed because they thought the game was dying. Well, yeah, nobody so wants to play a dead like game. A, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. So it's terrible. I mean, like that, that, that's not what they want to have happen. So if the, if it shows, wow, if having Classic out and there are like dedicated Classic players and Classic has like its own unique audience, then 
you're going to be adding like basically mm -hmm. a 10,000 or a 15,000, hopefully a uh, view bot to, to BFA. And it's like, how is that bad? Yeah. And not, not literally a view bot just for the sake of people understanding what you're saying. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Just, it, a, just it adding boosts the section numbers. Yeah. It boosts the section because it's one section. And yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like nobody wants to play a dead game. I, I talked about this before you came in. So nobody wants to play a dead game, but if you have like big streamers all playing one version or the other version, and I think I think you're naturally going to have more. Like if you compare this to OSRS and RuneScape, uh, I think that you naturally have a a more of a crossover in WoW than you will with RuneScape, because I think there's a lot of people, at least from what I've heard, who play OSRS or play like the new RuneScape, and they don't even touch or, or talk about or whatever. Like they, it's just two hundred percent separate things. I think with the streamers that are in the WoW section, there's a few that focus on one game, right? Like, for example, myself with Classic or JB with Retail, right? Yeah. But then there's a lot of other guys like you who will do both. Um, Venruki will do both. Swifty will probably... I think Swifty's probably going to focus on Classic, right? Most of these uh, arena Swifty guys are probably going to do both. I, I mean, I think that a lot of them are going to play both. Like, Swifty will. I think that everybody who's, like, in the WoW section organically right i mean they're they're already streaming wow every they're like day. they're like wow people yeah yeah like me for example mm -hmm. i mean we are gonna we're gonna go back and forth we're gonna sometimes play retail and sometimes play uh play classic i mean it just depends on what's out and what's going on i mean that's just kind of what makes sense i mean why why would you you know like label yourself one thing and then just kind of constrain like what type of content you want to bring to an audience if you feel like mm -hmm. classic wow is going to bring in good content for whatever reason for that day then mm -hmm. i think you should do that yeah i mean i think right. i think that's what it is like for me like i i'm not i'm not completely like i'm not completely done with retail whenever class comes out I, t I tell people that it's just like yeah. it, it depends on what's going on like i might randomly want to do arenas you're probably or gonna want to do like you know maybe an arena push or uh you know yeah, you like, find like some guys that want to push arena and get clad and you've never got glad before, so it's like fuck, dude. All right, let's 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 try to make this happen. Well, it's, and, it's and like, one of those things. That's hype as fuck, dude. That's awesome. Well, and it's it's one of those things where just because WoW is bad now, right? Or just because I think WoW is bad now, retail doesn't mean that retail WoW is always going to be bad, right? Something something might happen, and they well, might say like, hey, look, look, let's look at this thing from classic, right? People obviously like this, or they obviously like that that we're seeing in classic. What if we can take this and kind of move the kind of kind of move the goalposts a little bit and try and change retail wow in a way that it implements this certain system or whatever that well, classic yeah, has like, that makes it better. Of course. I mean, that's what everybody wants. I mean, I think that like mm -hmm. th this might be an unpopular opinion among like people that are, you know, really big classic fans, but what I think a lot of people want more than uh, more than classic wow is they want a game that makes them feel the same way the classic wow made them feel in 2006 and like classic wow again is going to make them feel that way for a while but it's not going to be the same thing it's like uh i don't know like going to high school like you can't just go to high school again and have the same experience as you did the first time like there's mm -hmm. nothing like the first time mm -hmm. and i think people want the new classic wow yeah and i would i wouldn't know i've never had a first time <laughs> well, I mean, I think that we, we've both been to high school, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's why I, I, I use that example because like everybody's been to high school. Everybody knows what it's like, uh, you know, like kind of getting in there, making your friends, you know, understanding and being part of it. I mean, in a way, I think high school and WoW, like classic WoW, have a lot of parallels. But um, mm -hmm. in, in general, like or like getting your first job or uh, anything that's like your first of anything, you, you can't you can't re-experience that again. Right. So I, I the, the thing that I want to do really is I just want to have, I want retail to be as good as, as classic should be. Mm -hmm. uh, or sorry, I want, I want retail to be as good as it should be. Right. And I want it to be as good as classic is. Cause I don't think that it, it's dead. I think like, for example, like mm -hmm. 8.2 is really good in a lot of ways. Uh, it, it's, it's not amazing. It doesn't save the game. Wow is not saved. <laughs> But um, they made a lot of really good changes and they took chances and they did things that players want. And that's good. And I think that Classic is going to drive a lot of those changes because they're going to see the people that really enjoy Classic and say, hey, you know, if they really like it this much, let's see how they'd like this in retail. And, mm -hmm. you know, they can use one to inform the development of the other. Yeah. 
I, I think so too. Uh, and I think, I think that'd be great. I mean, if, if, if you can have both games be as good as they can be, then that's great. And, and I have like a lot of other thoughts yeah. on like, um, I have a lot of other thoughts on, on basically like how the game is going to be different. And I talked about that before. And, and like, I actually have like a concern, like a pretty big concern about like raid difficulty and this and that. I, I think it's going to be, well, there's this whole narrative of like, oh, like classic is a joke, no mechanics, this and that. Right. And, and obviously classic is not as mechanically intense as, as retail wow is right. Like it, it's, that's very clear. Um, mm -hmm. but I think that it's going to only push that narrative and it's going to be even worse because of how you're going to have the 1.12 versions of everything. You're going to have the 1.12 versions of the raids, uh, 1.12 versions of, uh, itemization, class balance, all this stuff put into the game. And then you're going to have like 1.2 content like the 1.12 version of the 1.2 content on launch, right? So everything's going to be nerfed. Yeah. So I, I do think classic is going to be like inherently easier, not just because I, I don't think it's fair to factor in like real, like, like, like you said, your life was different 15 years ago. Er everything was different, right? You were a different person, different player, all this stuff. I don't think it's fair to factor that into this, right? But as far as like game design stuff, it's, it, it is just going to be easier. I think. And I, and I, that's what I'm kind of concerned about right now. That's just something that's been on my mind for, for actually uh, a lot recently. Well, I mean, like, I, I think that the raids are going to be substantially mechanically easier. I think that any guild that's in the top 1000 guilds right now on retail is going to have well, literally no trouble clearing the, the classic raids. Well, and, and, and I kind of think that goes without saying like to, to me, like it, that part of it is almost like a, it's almost like a moot point. Yeah. Like it's, it's not that big because, because retail wow is, is mechanically much harder than classic. Well, I Wild. don't really think it's a narrative then. Right. I mean, if, if, if it's kind of something that's understood. Well, no, because I think the difficulty of the raids from like a, um, not, not a, a non-mechanical, but more so armor values are less or health or da like damage resist that kind of stuff. Like from a preparation standpoint, I think people are going to have a hard time telling the difference between something that is harder because of the amount of preparation it takes or harder because it's mechanically more difficult because at I the end of the day, the average definitely, well, I I've, I've kind of characterized it like this. I don't know how you feel about this, but I I've characterized it as the difficulty in like old wow. So like, Mm -hmm. uh like really just vanilla nbc because in, in wrath i don't think this really factored in but mm -hmm. uh in vanilla nbc like the difficulty of the raids was getting into the raids and now the difficulty of the raids is doing the raids like anybody can get into the raids now but it's very hard to do them and before uh it was very very hard to get into the raids but once you got into the raids they weren't necessarily like extremely challenging so like for example i mean I don't think anybody could make an argument that, you know, Mythic Kill Jaden isn't harder than anything in Classic. It's, it's like nothing in Classic is even 10% as difficult as, as Mythic Kill Jaden was. But that doesn't mean that, you know, doing uh, AQ40 Cthune or Naxxramas wasn't challenging. It's just, it was a different kind of challenge. And I mm -hmm. think that's what a lot of people well, I, I really think, don't I think, pick up on. Well, I think game knowledge preparation uh from like a leadership perspective just like the organizational factor of it I, I think a lot of that makes it hard yeah um but i also think this i think if if everything is as easy as everybody thinks it is there would have been a whole lot more people who cleared nax on private servers which wasn't the case why was that not the case though because guilds would fall apart they would die they like there's guilds that just couldn't even do nax I mean, it's it's not. I mean, don't you think that it's like probably a, a better reason that they just simply most private servers never made it to Nax? I mean, well, like that's the that's case, that's, right? that's part of it, right? That's part of it. But I'm saying yeah. even the servers that didn't make it to Nax, right? Not everybody who played on a private server lasted the whole way through, right? I, I think that oh. part of playing classic is like you you've got to be able to to consistently like work your way through the entirety of the content. Again, it's I'm not talking about mechanics and stuff, right? I'm talking more so about there, there's a yeah. number of other factors that you have to overcome uh, whenever you, you're playing classic outside of just like, OK, move out of the fire, you know? Uh, I mean, I think that's definitely true uh, in, in a lot of ways. I think that it is mm -hmm. uh, in, in some cases like, yeah, of course, that 
you know, there's going to be a, a certain degree of, I guess, a power creep that players are going to have now that they've been playing the game for, you know, this long and they're just better at the game. But also, I, I think it's kind of a, it's, it's a pointless conversation in, in my mind to have whether like which one is harder and which one is easier. Uh, Cause it, it's, I think that the entire idea of are you talking about retail game, classic? Both of them. Uh, I, I think the entire idea. No, of no, game, no. Are you are you saying are you saying which one is harder and which one is easier within the context of retail versus well, classic, or within the context of of one game on its own? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, like both. Like it, it's like I I think that the the discussion and I, I think it, any reasonable person would come to the conclusion that it takes more prep to get into classic raids and it's more mechanically difficult to do current raids. Right. I mean, this is not <laughs> this is not an unpopular or like a, a nuanced really opinion. This is just right. common sense from anybody that's played either one of the games. Right. Uh, well, yeah, but, that's not that's, well, that's the thing. But that's I not think really what, I'm what I don't about. like is that the whole idea that, oh, well, the raids are better now because they're harder. I actually think that the raids are worse now. I think that they're too hard. I, I genuinely think the raids are too hard. Uh, there are too many things you have to react to too quickly, and it's off-putting for a lot of players. I think that's why Cataclysm lost so many players, is because ICC was so easy, then you go into BWD, and you're just getting fucking destroyed by Omnitron defense system, because you're not even close to prepared. Mm. And I think that demoralized a lot of people and made them stop playing. Yeah, and I, so, and I don't really yeah. know about this, because I didn't raid after like close to the end of BC. Because I, I didn't do Sunwell and I didn't do uh, I didn't finish Black Temple. Uh, but yeah, I did basically like Tier Five in, in Burning Crusade and like a little bit of Black Temple. So yeah. so yeah, after that, after that, I really haven't raided. So so I don't really know. Yeah, I mean for uh, for BFA and and everything like the raids are extremely challenging on Mythic. I, I think really the problem is that the challenge in raids is like. I think being able to be prepared and bringing in a bunch of like flasks and like really cool food buffs and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that setting the difficulty of the raids to be, I guess, like loaded, like front loaded in getting into the raid is actually a more fulfilling experience for people and also more casual friendly because more of them are able to play on, on their own terms. It's like, if I wanted to get attuned for, um, uh, let's say Nax Ramas, I could get a tune for Nax Ramas on my own time. I mm -hmm. could do Strathlum whenever I wanted. I could buy the Righteous Orbs whenever I wanted. I could farm mm -hmm. out Argent Reputation whenever I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that overall, like just the perspective that Blizzard has had and like the idea that players have that harder raids are fundamentally better is really flawed. Yeah. And I think that it's harmful to the game. Well, wow, wow. And, and I, I talked about this a little bit earlier before you came on. Wow was successful because it was not the hardest game in the world. There was way harder MMOs. EverQuest was known to be harder. Dark Age of Camelot was considered to be harder, right? WoW, WoW was successful because it was accessible to players, but you still got the right level of fulfillment out of it. Difficulty, right? Difficulty is is good to a certain extent, right? Now, now I don't know because I, I haven't Mythic rated and stuff like that, so I, I don't really know how... Uh, like about the raids being too hard or anything like that now, right? Well, the issue, but, the issue now, like, I, I think, like... Like fundamentally, like if you want me to like kind of uh, distill it down to like one thing, mm -hmm. it's that one individual in a raid can cause a wipe. And mm -hmm. I think that creates a very unfulfilling, stressful experience for everyone else. Uh, in Classic WoW, like that was the case in some fights, right? Like let's say you had like one guy go to the wrong place on Thaddeus and that's probably not really going to be a raid wipe because that person is just going to get electrocuted and instantly. But if that happens and Thaddeus is chain lightning at the same time, you're probably gonna have a death or at least a few of them and mm -hmm. uh like there are a few other examples of that but for the most part in classic wow everybody doesn't all have to do it right like you can have people do it wrong yeah i i don't like how in retail wow it, it does feel like that where it's like all of a sudden it's like because whenever i'm watching the world first race right for example yeah. You're watching and it's like, okay, happening, 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 happening. And then all of a sudden something happened. Now you watch so many times where you, you kind of get used to, oh, okay, well, this is what happened here, right? But you're watching and then all of a sudden out of the blue, it's like tick, 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 boom, whole raid's dead. And it's like, wait, what? Like what happened? Yeah. Uh, but that, I mean, that's, 
I haven't played it, like I said, but at least from a viewing experience, it's kind of like, wait, what the hell? Like, what, what happened? Well, here? I think that you can have that happen in, in Classic 2, right? Yeah. I mean, but it's definitely true. Like, like if you get like imagine, a living bomb or something on, well, on Baron like Gettin or something. A living bomb in Raid. Um, let's talk Nax. Uh, a taunt fail. Let's say, you yeah. know, uh, fucking like Mograine or like one of the different uh, four horsemen runs into the middle of the room, mm -hmm. one shots half the raid because they're trying to reset well, their stacks. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or chop is odd. The MCs go out and, you know, or or let's say somebody's not doing triangle formation correctly and, you know, there's some rogue that's in between the tank group and the melee group and he mm -hmm. gets targeted and freezes everybody and it's a wipe. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of different ways that wipes can happen instantly in Classic. And it's like in the rogues example, uh, that actually is like one individual making a mistake. But the difference between that and classic usually, uh, or BFA usually, is that the Kel'Thuzad ice block situation is very, uh, it's very uncommon where like one player can cause a wipe. And also even in classic, whenever you do have instances, whenever one player can cause a uh -huh. wipe, you can usually determine who that player is right. ahead of time. That's that's the point I was going to hit on yeah. next. Was you can see it play out. Like you you can see the series of events that led to something happening. Like, let's say let's use the four horsemen example, right? Where okay, yeah. some tank he he didn't like resisted taunt. Something happened somehow or another. You see the horse run all the way to the center of the room, and then all of a sudden everybody's stacks get reset whenever they were supposed to be in another part of the room. Right. And then all of a it's sudden, also, it, it's wipes. visually obvious. You can tell what's that's happening. You can get, see it yes. play out. And, and to me, well, it's that, like, oh, okay, that's cool. Right. But like whenever I was watching retail, like, again, this, this goes back to what I was saying about viewing, viewing perspective. Uh, whenever I was watching the world first race and all of a sudden it's just boom, everyone's dead. I'm like, okay, I can't see what happened there until somebody explained it to me, you know? Well, I, I think the best example, right, is like my dad has watched me play WoW for 10 years and he still thinks that I'm being surrounded by stingrays whenever I'm next to a rock. You know, he has is Solst on a player. That was one of his questions he asked me. He has no idea how well <laughs> works. Yeah. He has no clue whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. Um, that being said, also, like, he doesn't really, uh, like, whenever he watched me play PUBG, literally mm -hmm. the first game, he was in Vietnam. The first game, he was telling me where I need to stand. He's, he already yeah. knows what's going on, right? And it's like there are some games that just lend themselves better to being understood and uh, by like a spectator. And I think that you're right that WoW, like the current WoW, is just, I mean, you, you, you have no idea what the fuck is going on. Classic is DOA. It's done. It's not happening. After yeah. two months, it's dead. I guarantee it. I promise you. This shit is destined to fail. I don't even know why they fucking did it in the first place. These guys are a bunch of fucking idiots. I I think that, as I said, I think that the the drop off will be between sixty and eighty percent by the second month. I think by the second month that it's it's not crazy for it to be that much, right? I, yeah. I think I think by the end of the first month, I, I'm I'm not sure, um, but I think I think yeah, like of course you're gonna have a you're, you're gonna have a big drop off, right? But you're also gonna have plenty of people to the point where like the game is healthy and alive and and all that stuff. Like I mean, you you look at. I mean, pretty much every expansion and anything like that, uh, as far as like looking at trends goes, you have people resubbing all this stuff, and then you have the big drop off. Anything with hype is going to be like that. Anything. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that the game is necessarily going to be dead or anything like that. Like you're going to have, you're going to be just fine playing it and having fun and all this stuff. And even from a streaming perspective, like uh, I think most people that that think like that, or a lot of people that think like that, are like, oh, they're, they're streaming and they just want to, they're going to move on to the next game or this and that. But like. At the end of the day, like the the wow, like wow is the IRL section. It's it's basically just chatting. Wow is glorified just chatting section. That's just what it is. And that's basically what we're doing now. Like we're, we're like that's literally what. Wait, what the hell? Why am I? It's like yes and no. I mean, I think that it's really important that you know people have interesting content. Uh, I, I think that like yes, obviously, like being able to, uh, you know, like interact with the audience is the most important thing. But there is a big difference, like you know, that I, that I see whenever I'm doing content that's interesting to my viewers versus not interesting. I mean, it's a huge difference. Well, yeah, my viewership. right. But I mean, like if people who want to see like, the gameplay will, will like, there's, there's always going to be people who just want to see gameplay. Right. But there's also well, people what that I mean, wanna... it's like, there's different, like all gameplay is not created equal. Right. Like, yes, there's the thing is that like, for example, if I like variety, I think in, in like streaming is probably the most important thing. 
that you have mm. to do and having like variety in your content. So for example, like, you know, if you're streaming and you have, uh, what do you call it? Like, let me think of a way to put it. Like if you do the same thing every day on your stream, people are going to get bored of it. That's why I try to change up my, my formula as regularly as I can. Mm -hmm. Obviously like, you know, there's going to be continuous things that I do, but for the most part, I mean, I, I try to like, okay, I've been starting in this zone and doing these quests every single time. Maybe people are tired of that. Maybe I want to go do something else instead. So, uh, you know, I think it's really important to keep that in mind too. And it's also like two week, two months from like classic release, everybody will have already seen everything that there is to see until the new season or the new, uh, new patch comes out. So like, Wait, you said two months or two weeks, two months, yeah, I'd yeah, say yeah. actually more like one month because, well, here, like, here's the thing. There, there's going to be, month. there's so much to like attain. That's the thing. Like I, I remember one of her, again, this is one of our streams on YouTube and it's, it was a different audience. It was yeah. vastly different numbers of people watching, but uh, part of the reason my stream kept growing. And, and this is something that I noticed and because people told me this, people enjoyed watching my character and see like the story of my character progress uh, like, okay, S fan is rating that, and he's getting this gear now. Oh, I can't that, wait till S fan gets this. I can't wait till S fan gets that. That's, that's good. But the problem is that you can only tell that story for a few hours a week. Um, kind of with raids, but, yeah. um, there's also a lot more to it. And you like, you use that gear, right? You use that stuff and then you turn that into something else, right? Like you, you, you turn that into like PVP content and gameplay content and stuff like that. Cause like, like for example, like I, I was, I was more of a gameplay streamer than anything back yeah. on YouTube, but now like in, in year and a half on Twitch before classic came out, like I, I had to do other games and variety and all this stuff. So my stream yeah. kind of changed a little bit. Well, I, I think that just in general, it, it's really important to make sure that people can, uh, you know, expect to see different types of content. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't think that like farming streams are entertaining or interesting to viewers. Uh, I think that they won't be interesting at all. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. I, I, I it, it's like, like at least as far, well, here's the thing. As far as like, again, totally different audience, different all this stuff, right? But some of my best streams before were like DME's jump runs. Well, yes, and there's a lot of context to that though. Uh, for one, like people weren't really able to do that on their own, right? So like they're going to watch you to vicariously do that type of content whenever they can do it on their own watching somebody do the same thing over and over that they've probably done themselves also there is a certain level of disinterest that happens to there uh then on top of that you have a lot of other people who are you know they just they're very add mm -hmm. and i think that also like for example people would criticize me right on like my stream whenever i would spend every stream doing let's say uh throne of thunder i think that was probably the, the best example that i can use and it's like watching me do Throne of Thunder every once in a while is cool, but watching me open the stream with it every day is not. And the thing with Retail WoW, like the problem that I had was that I kind of ran out of things because I just did everything in the game. I streamed the game like four or five hours, like, you know, five days a week or something. So mm -hmm. I simply ran out of content. And, uh, you know, that's why like now I have a lot of things to do because I took a break so long for like actually completing in-game content. So I, I don't think that like farming that content or doing it on YouTube is a very good indicator because also there's not any other competition on YouTube, really. You know, people that want to watch classic WoW or even content on YouTube uh, because they don't like Twitch or whatever the reason is, there's not a lot of other places that they can go to to do that. But whenever everybody's able to be out there doing the same content, you have, you have a higher level of competition and you have yeah. to be more, more engaging. But something that like... I think something that you're not considering is is the majority of my audience back then were also other people who played on private servers. So it's yeah. like they, they all had the opportunity to do that. You know, uh, that's that was just like the majority of my audience. There was there was a few people who watched it in play private servers shortly, right? Well, what I'm saying is like you're always like there, there's like different, uh, I guess, like circles of influence that you're going to have, right? You're, you're going to have people that want to watch a high warlord grind. But there are less people that want to watch a high warlord grind than people that want to watch you do the new raid whenever it comes out. Oh, yeah, all certainly. I, yeah, all I'm saying is that 
I think that there are are a lot less people than you might imagine Mm -hmm. that just want to watch you do kind of like, uh, what's like really the word, uh, uh, like B footage basically. Well, like I, I try not to like, for example, like I would try to farm things off stream and then, uh, save the on stream content for me, like opening up the boxes of those things that I farmed or something like that to keep the excitement up you know, and, and make it more exciting for the, the viewers. Yeah. Oh, I, I think, and I think that's fine. I think that's like one way to look at it. I, I think it's also about yeah. how you want to present that content. Right. Like, and, and it's also your audience too. different audiences. Like, like take, take a look at like destiny streams, for example, like most people who watch destiny, like destiny will play like some, some dumb random, like mindless grinding game in the background while he's like listening to a video and like giving commentary on it. Right. And that's mm-hmm. why people are there watching. Right. I think whenever, like, use the use the rank fourteen grind for example. I think a good yeah. rank fourteen grind stream, you're gonna have some gameplay. Oh look, oh okay, he's he's good. He knows what he's doing. Whatever is PvP. Okay, great. Like you can do that for some time, right? You can do battlegrounds for a few hours or something, and then it'll fall off, right? That's why I think it's important. Like if you're gonna stream rank fourteen grind, like your your stream has to be kind of like a radio show. Like you, you have to have like personalities in there. You have to have topics that you're going to talk about that, that keeps people engaging and oh, yeah, good interaction yeah, chat. Like it just has to be different, right? It just comes at, down to like the presentation. Like whenever like me, Spooji and Dracova would do the old farming streams, like we would just like, it, would, it was basically like three friends sitting there just BSing, talking about stuff, having conversations with chat. Uh, like we would talk about Paladin things like Paladin tips or like we'd, we'd pull something up and explain it, this and that. People like I think people really enjoy that type of content too, and, and the farming is just like the background noise, and they're there for like the information on like oh how should I play paladin here? How should I do a paladin there? So like, well, I, yeah. I just think it's I mean, different. Like, of course, like like having having like really interesting I guess like conversations and everything. I think that's what I've really always tried to build my stream on and, and making it interesting. Like, uh, you know, I've always looked at the game itself as just B roll. Like, yeah, you're right, but. You know, like if you have, you know, mm-hmm. great commentary and your content is a role, then, you know, you're going to be having a really oh, good well, time. Oh, yeah. But like, but how I'm often can saying, you do like, that? Like how, how often is a new raid going to come out? How often is, you know, I, I think it comes well, down to presentation. Like my streams. Well, like, here's an example, right? Whenever we were doing classic WoW, uh, mm-hmm. the beta, like whenever we were first doing uh, Warsong Gulch, we had a lot of people watching. Mm-hmm. Whenever we we're doing it for like two or three weeks. We had a lot less people watching because people got bored of watching the same thing over and over. Well, I would say That's more than that. Works. I think more than people getting bored of watching the same thing, people got bored of watching the same thing happen less frequently because people stopped playing the beta because they didn't invite enough people. Like they should have invited way more people to the beta and they just didn't. Right. So I, I feel like, we ran out of stuff to do in the beta. Well, one, it's level 40, so obviously we're going to run out at some point. But I, I think just as big of a problem was it being level 40 as it was there not being enough people to do stuff with. Yeah. I, I, mean, think, I, think, I think if we had more people to do stuff with, it would have been a lot. People enjoy watching, like, people enjoy watching duels. People enjoy watching dungeon runs, this and that. But there's only so many dungeons you can run at 40. There's only, uh, there's only so many people on the server to play on or play with, excuse me. Uh, it, it's just different, right? Like, I, mean, I would go outside. I would always start my streams off with some duels, and then towards the end, it was like I, I would have to go out I there. Couldn't and I couldn't even sit, find I made a duel. No, I would sit out there for like five so minutes bad, before, dude. like Naxa was there, like all the time. But like, uh, other than Naxa, like, yeah, there's there's nobody else, right? And it's like, okay, you duel a warrior twenty happen. times in a row. So yeah, really. I, I just think um, I think whenever actual classic is out, right, and it's not just about streaming, right. I think there's going to be so many people that are playing the game and enjoying the game that you're going to always have something that you can do, right? Whatever kind of player you are. Well, now, looking at it from a stream perspective like, might be a little bit different. You, sure. can, you, can use that same, you can use that same argument with like retail, though. I mean, there's always something for you to do in retail. It's just that does well, the what player does it mean care to about. Yeah. And I, I, by the way, I have to go in like five minutes. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, but anyway, like, I, I think that there's always something f- that you can do. Like you can do whatever you want. You can go do pet battles. You can go do BGs. You can go farm on, or you can go do Mythic Plus. The the problem is not necessarily that there isn't content to do. The problem is that the player isn't compelled to do that content. And I think that's really what the same issue with Classic is going to be at a certain period of time, because people will reach their goal 
they'll reach a plateau and then that's it. And but, obviously whenever you're going to have like a new release or something like that, maybe more people will be, you know, wanting to come out and, and do that too, but it won't be the same level of, uh, of engagement. But like uh, the, the big difference there, I think with classic, mm -hmm. then like one of the things that you're leaving out is yeah. like the social dynamics of the game, right? Like during all these experiences and gearing up your character and whether it's leveling, you, you start gearing up, you go do raids, this and that, you, you join a guild, you meet a bunch of different people and you make friends with people. Like I still talk to people that I haven't played WoW with in two years, right? Uh, I haven't played since private server with them. Oh, right? yeah. And these, these social, these social interactions all lead up to different relationships and that's what keeps you in the game. Like whenever I quit, whenever I came Just back and I'm getting a phone call from my dad. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but uh, so so basically, what I, what I was gonna say to Asman was the the reason why I quit whenever I came back in Wrath, it wasn't because like I sure I didn't like the I didn't like gear score I didn't like achievements I, I felt like uh, I, I was being kept out of doing content because I I wasn't playing the beginning of Wrath and all that, right? So I didn't have gear score I didn't have achievements to show that I could do the raids or whatever, but the biggest problem was that I didn't have friends to play with. A lot of my friends had quit. Whenever my guild, I, 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 maybe I, I should hold on to this for whenever Asmund, I'll go ahead and explain anyway, and I'll just explain it again to Asmund. But whenever my guild, whenever my guild died on, on, on private server, let me explain what happened, right, in a nutshell. So we had a situation where basically classic beta was, an, or sorry, the classic announcement happened. Okay. The classic announcement happened. Everybody's super excited, hype, whatever. And then all of a sudden people are like, wait, why am I still here? Like, why, why am I still playing? Why, what, like, why am I still playing like this private server? Like classic's going to come out soon. This, this kind of feels empty and pointless. So we slowly had people start quitting the game. I, uh, my particular situation, my stream grew, got a lot of exposure and I ended up getting banned. Right, which is that that's, it was a DMCA. That is just how it works. That's life, right? But between the server essentially dying, uh, the server essentially dying, and my ban, my 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 ban happening, it was really hard to recruit. There was another guild that had already died on the server, and we were we were doing okay, right? We needed a few people. To, we needed to fill a few spots. Uh, there was another guild that had already died. The guild was called Ooze, right? Uh, they, they had a guild with two co-GMs and uh, they, they ended up dying, right? So they talked to me about joining the guild, whatever. They join our guild. Uh, first week of AQ40 happens. We go and we kill twin amps week one, which for our guild and what we did, like that was pretty good. Like I was very happy with that. Uh, they joined our guild. Um, I was very like diplomatic about everything, right? Very, very diplomatic about everything. And... I was like, look, if these guys are new and they're joining our guild, we have to be fair with loot and all this stuff. I don't want this whole like da 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 about like, oh, I was in this guild. I was in this guild. We are one guild. I don't give a crap where you came from. We are one guild now. We want to go through. And we want to finish all the content. That's what that's what I said. So um, let's be let's let's distribute the gear not equally, but let's give them more stuff than than they would get in week one, just to make sure that they feel welcome and all this stuff. So pretty much like all the best pieces of gear that dropped, they got in week one. And then what ended up happening was <clears throat> one of the co-GMs uh, took like all the players that got loot in the first week and took all the players that got loot in the first week and, and basically like over half of, of who had merged with them and then they, or who had merged with us and left and took them to another guild, right? So we had some people leave whenever they merged into us because they didn't want to play with some of the new guys. They had like beef and whatnot. So they end up leaving and we're ending up, we, like we end up stuck. Yeah, I know it's really messed up. So <clears throat> we end up stuck with half the players and we end up having to pug AQ40, right? We end up having to pug a bunch of AQ40. So we have to go and we have to like dump the, I, I basically like emptied the guild bank completely on like consumes like flasks potions this that and uh we were giving that out to like pugs and everybody just to kind of keep the guild afloat and we did for six weeks we kept the guild afloat for about six weeks um on top of that we had like problems with tanks 
we had a new we had a new tank in we had a new tank from that guild who was always late to raid uh he was always late to raid constantly afk just dealing with real life stuff and i'm like dude like there were other officers in the guild that wanted to get rid of him and i said look like we don't have a choice right we have to make this work okay if, if we have another tank that we can be our main tank and he can off tank that's great but that guy came from the other guild and he was totally stacked. He could DPS, he could tank, whatever, but he was totally stacked. He got like all the gear that he wanted in the other guild. Um, this is just the case, right? That's why he was going to tank for us. So um, we basically just had to deal with it until eventually, like slowly, like, you know, just more and more attrition, like people quitting. We're like, oh, I'm just going to chill till classic, this and that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically what happened is... Uh, it it, it, it that, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes and like i remember like i, I was so upset man I, I was so incredibly upset because my guild like in classic wow dude like your guild is like your family like I, I was so heavily invested in that guild not just like not just from a gameplay perspective i wasn't even streaming it anymore like who cares i wasn't streaming right but to me it's it's not about streaming all the time it's about playing the game and the relationships and, and the friends and the people that you meet and and that's why I wanted to play it. When our guild broke up, so many people quit. I like I don't want to play with anybody else. Like there were literally a bunch of people quit because they were like, "Well, I don't really want to play with anybody else. I want to play with Raid Three. I want to play with the people in this guild." And and that's the difference between Classic WoW and and a lot of other games that you just don't get anymore. And and I think that's the important thing whenever you play Classic is is to go and find these things. Right, stranger. Stranger was there. Yeah, stranger was there. What's up, dude? Stranger was a rogue in our guild. Right, we had people come in, take loot, uh, and and leave, and complain that they couldn't get like the first item of whatever that dropped. Like, I, I know specifically one thing that came up. Now, here's the thing. Here's here, this is, I run a loot council type of guild, and this is my general thought process on on how we run loot council. Is we gear up the tanks, right? PV, these are two things. PVE priority, right? We we kind of make decisions based on um, what's going to help the guild and the raid the most. Gear up the tanks because if your tanks are better, it's it's better for everybody, right? Because your DPS can DPS more, uh, your tanks are surviving better, so that your healers don't need to heal as much. It, tanks help everybody, right? So <clears throat> it was like, okay, well, I, I want the first two-handed weapon that drops too, and I was like, okay, well, look. I, I'm I'm playing Rhett, right? I'm playing Rhett. I use a two-hander. Like I, I I'm gonna get the first Dark Edge, right? That's that's what the plan is. Um that's you know, I'm the guild leader, I'm playing Rhett. This is like the this is like the one thing. Like the one thing that I have like my claim to is like if I want a two-handed weapon, then I'll get that, right? And it's like, oh okay, well, you know, I, I don't think that's fair or whatever. You shouldn't even be Rhett in the raids. It's like, you have got to be kidding me. So look, and this is what I told him. I was like, look. We go, we go PvE priority, and then we say who does the most. We, we do, like, who does the most in PvP, right? Who does the most in PvP? And it's like, yeah, if you're a PvPer, which he was, then sure, like, absolutely. Absolutely you could get the next, two, the next Dark Edge, because we didn't have any, any other PvP warriors at the time, right? Uh, but whenever we're talking about, like, okay, uh, this guy using this or that or whatever, it's, it's PvE priority, right? That's the plan. Let me look at notifications real quick. Zerpy donated three dollars. Your hair is looking nice today. Thank you. Yomko just sub for eleven months. Love you, bro. Yomko, appreciate that, dude. For life. That's Let's right, dude. classic hard. Thanks for the eleven months, three. dude. Zerpy, thank you for the three dollars. Fish Gambit just sub for two months. As fan, only two months, but looking forward to many more with classic. The dream is alive. Hi, chat. Thank you for the two months, Fish Gambit. Space Monkey, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Rixie gifted us up to Kelwin. Rixie, Fire thank you. Sub for Burn. Two months. Thank you for the two months. Blood John 69 just resub for six months. Sup, man. Thank you, Blood John. Thanks for the six months. Congrats on the new badge, dude. Dank Veg with the Twitch Prime. Fuzzy just for ten months. with 10 months. Been supportive for more than 10, and it isn't a the lot first more than nor 10. last I've said this. 
but super proud of how far you've gotten since we met so long ago. Thanks, Keep it man. up, my dude. Less than three. Thanks, man. Appreciate well, Scarlet that. Scarlet just resubbed for three months. Three months, thanks for all the pumps. Of course, dude. All pump, no dumb. That well just resubbed for six months. Six months spoke with Paladin Police Force for the win. We shall protect the Eastern Kingdom with our righteousness. Thanks for the six months, dude. Well, Scarlet, three months. Gotten two new badges. Don't backseat game. Tier three, three months. Tier Twank three and a new badge. Just for sub for three months. What's a guy got to do? To hey, what are you doing? You playing the game? I'm I'm calling out notifications. Twankies, thanks for the three months. Cove Lurker, thank you for the tier three. Dan Lord, Dan Lord, thank you for tier one, three months. For three months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Everybody, thank months. you very much. Keep you up playing the good the work as fans. Alan, thank you for the two months. HM3 Boost, thank you for the Twitch Prime three months. Thank you, guys. There you go. Just that was a lot. For three months. Much love as fan. I, I I was really behind on notifications. I, I I try to pause them to not get interrupted. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the game in a little bit. I'm, I'm still talking about stuff here. Um, Dude. Yeah. You need a two year sub badge. Soon. Not quite yet. Hadri with five gifted subs. Hadri, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, dude. Thank you so much, man. Pacioli NB, thank you for the Twitch Prime six months. Thank you, dude. Look at that. Thank you guys so much for all the subs and resubs. Um, but yeah, I mean that was that was pretty much everything. That, that was a long that, that was a long start to the stream. That was a long uh, session for daily dose of classic, guys. I'm going to keep the stream going, obviously, right? But uh, for Daily Dose of Classic, we're, let, let's go ahead and call it there. We kind of we kind of got off on a rant. Asmund joined in. McConnell joined in uh, for a little bit. So thank you guys for joining me. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see this, I'm going to keep doing this at the start of my streams every day until Classic launch or almost every day, the semi-Daily Dose of Classic. Like it if you like it and leave a comment and let me know what you want to want me to talk about. There's all kinds of stuff to talk about still. Uh, different topics that I'm going to touch on. So, guys, everybody say bye, YouTube. Everybody in chat, say hey, bye, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Suck my 